This case was brought to you by Clinic. A 29-year-old woman presents with a concern of bloody sputum. She has been coughing for the past seven days, and today she noticed a small amount of blood in the mucus that she has been coughing up, which she quantifies to be less than a teaspoon. She is otherwise healthy and not taking any medications or supplements. She does not smoke tobacco or use illicit substances and denies any recent travel. On exam, her vital signs are as follows. Auscultation of her lungs are clear bilaterally, and her heart has a regular rate and rhythm without murmurs, rubs, or gallops. We order a chest x-ray, which is seen here. Blood work is also obtained and sent to the lab, which is unremarkable, including a normal D-dimer. What is the most likely cause for this patient's symptoms? The correct answer is bronchitis. What's reassuring in our patient's clinical presentation is the report of trace hemoptysis when she tells you she had coughed up no more than a teaspoon of blood-tinged sputum. This is in contrast to large volume hemoptysis, which would make you more concerned about a more serious diagnosis, and more importantly, for a patient's hemodynamic stability. This patient's symptoms are consistent with a lower respiratory tract infection over the past week. Along with her clear breath sounds and normal chest x-ray, bronchitis is the likely choice out of the given answer choices. Bronchitis is a common cause of trace hemoptysis and is a cause of transient airway inflammation that could lead to scant bleeding, especially with coughing episodes, as this can irritate the airway mucosal lining, leading to further trauma and trace hemoptysis. In this case, all diseases listed as answer choices can present with hemoptysis, but you can look for clues pointing you to the correct answer within some aspects of this patient's history. For example, Obtaining a detailed social history is important, as many environmental factors can place patients at risk for developing hemoptysis, such as recent travel that could predispose to patients at increased risk for other infectious causes like tuberculosis. Pneumonia may also present with trace hemoptysis, but is usually accompanied by signs and symptoms consistent with bacterial infection, like fever and chills, along with consolidation and other abnormalities on a chest x-ray. Pulmonary embolism can also be a source of hemoptysis, but this patient can be ruled out by a low-risk Wells score and a negative D-dimer. Malignancy is another important cause of hemoptysis, and like we talked about earlier, can become a priority on your differential after carefully asking questions to assess potential risk factors like smoking history, unintentional weight loss, and harmful past exposures. But the patient in this case did not have any of these risk factors, making malignancy less likely. And finally, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is the most common cause of hemoptysis worldwide. It is important to ask about recent travel history or other social risk factors that may place patients at increased risk for developing this disease. But our patient reports no recent travel history and has a negative chest x-ray, making this diagnosis highly unlikely. If you enjoyed this video and prefer interactive ways to learn medicine, then check out Clinic, which is a med school web application where you could access new interactive multiple choice case reports each week with topics and pathology ranging from some of the most common disorders to the rarest diseases. Sign up or learn more at medschool.com clinic.